So let's talk about lights, and specifically that light right there. That is the Aperture P600C Nova Soft Light. This is a panel light that I had the opportunity of shooting on recently for our second unit of Fool's Game, and let me tell you, lights can really make or break your production, and that is a light that you need. Because it doesn't matter what kind of camera that you're using, it doesn't matter the environment you're shooting in, if you can control your light, you can definitely control your film. So, let's roll. So welcome back everybody, my name's Steven and this video is sponsored by Canada Film Equipment. They're the rental house that gave us this beautiful aperture light to use on our second unit of filming for Fool's Game. So a huge shout out to Rosa and Mehran as well as lighting technician uh, Roham who was our lighting tech on the film. And this light really elevated our second unit of filming because we were shooting a scene using a Laowa probe lens which requires a ton of light in order to bathe the area for that really high focal length lens that we were using. It's a very narrow, almost like shotgun style lens to gather that macro detail when it comes to capturing film with it, because it can shoot some incredible, incredible videography, but you need to bathe the entire environment in a lot of light. So this light really ticked off all the boxes for us to be able to capture good detail utilizing that lens. So quick disclaimer, I am definitely not a lighting tech. So this is more of a review and hands-on experience as a DP and as a camera operator who essentially utilizes light for setups directly with the camera in order to set the frame and set the shot accordingly. I am not trained in any sort of lighting arrangement or lighting scenario setup, save for what I utilize in my studio. So this is more of like a hands-on review of how I found this light useful in my filmmaking process. So straight off the bat, this is a 600 watt RGB WW 2x1 LED soft light panel. Now this is double the strength or double the illumination that you get from the original P300 light that Aperture made. And I'm a huge fan of Aperture products because I use them all over the studio. We have an Aperture softbox above, we got some two Aperture RGB lights in the back kicking up a bit of blue light behind me, and now I got this lovely, you know, P600 soft color coming in from my, my left here that bathes this whole area in a nice contrasted background of light. So we have a CRI and TLC of 95 plus, we have an SSI of 74, as well as a tungsten rating of 84. So this basically gives you the peripheral idea of what the spectrum of light that you're working with when it comes to the capabilities of the light panel. So one unique thing about this light is it has a fully tunable green and magenta adjustment level. So this really allows you to capture full color spectrum both indoors and outdoors to main, maintain that correct balance of color. And you have two unique knobs on the control panel that allow you to essentially control both at the same time as well as the intensity above. So one thing as a filmmaker is I like to have remote access to my lights when I'm doing filmmaking. And the Citus Link app that goes with any Aperture product is just fantastic at being able to essentially utilize that light and control it directly via the app. And now I love the process of this because essentially it takes your, you know, the ability if you're shooting as a one-man band for the day, you don't have to keep running back and forth the panel in the box to adjust your light settings. You can do it directly via the connection in the app. Now you can create yourself a whole shooting scenario if you have multiple uh, aperture lights in your kit, such as these RGBs in the back or also this P600C Nova panel. So a really cool thing to utilize if you're doing it with a, a smaller team and you need to have a quick change on the go. Also, I'm now obsessed with bubbly water, especially boobly. This is not a product placement or anything, but it's, it's really good. So let's talk a little bit about the build quality of the light. Now this light has a curved dual lock yoke. So that basically means that it allows the light to have essentially the panel ability for adding on softbox attachments. Now it's similar to the LS600D Pro as well as the 600X Pro, allowing it to maintain the tilt control effect when using modifiers and softboxes. This has been traditionally difficult in the past on other LED light panels as they're traditionally flat and straight down the line. So this P600C, it features a built-in power supply, minimizing the weight as well as the setup time. It features a 48 volt 15A three pin XLR DC input, which allows users to operate the fixture via any battery powered solution, instead of hooking it up to a noisy generator or even a wall mount if you're running out of connections for power. So let's talk about the 
cableless box control. It's a really cool feature about controlling this light. Now this is an attachment you can take off from the light itself. In addition to the three meter extension cable, the P600C has a control box that's been updated with contact pins integrated into the lighting clamp. Now this gives you complete control for a claspless installment. You can also attach it to the base of a stand or even the base of the light itself. It just basically allows you to have full control as well as the ability of keeping things compact on the panel. So the P600C can be modified using a variety of tools such as intensifiers and light control grids, soft boxes, as well as third-party modifiers from brands including DOP Choice and Chimera. These are key to be able to really grow out that light so you're not just utilizing only the features that come with the P600C. So as I mentioned earlier, I love the Sidus Link app. It really gives full control over this light remotely and quickly and easily. You can access 300 plus gels of color from this particular app on the panel. You can access 19 special effects. And, and you might say, why special effects? Because I might not need that on my particular shoot. And that's true. However, if you're doing a shoot that requires maybe a cop car coming in or it needs fireworks or something in your effect, and you don't have multiple lights to set that up, if you have one light that can do that, you will save yourself so much time. And to repeat that again, time is money. As we found out on our shoot, the quicker you can set something up, the more takes that you can get. The more takes that you can get, the better your film is going to be because you have more options and posts to look through. Now, when you save time on a, you know, a lighting panel like this, you maximize your filmmaking game. You make your whole process efficient, effective, and comprehensive to make your filming process be the best it can be. So the million dollar question is, who is this lighting panel for? And how much does it cost to rent or buy? I guess that's two million dollar questions. This lighting panel is for filmmaking. It is specifically for indie filmmaking, for documentaries, music videos, short films, narratives, feature films, any sort of high-end purpose filmmaking. It is not for vlogging. It is not for running gun filmmaking. It's, it's too big of a setup and it requires a dedicated, you know, connection power source and setup from its stand. It is something that you utilize for proper lighting setup both indoors and outdoors either you know you can blast it through an 8x8 frame a 12 by 12 frame 4x4 whatever for diffusion you can use it to light an entire scene indoors and outdoors it is a very versatile light that can essentially act as your main fill or key light on any set and if you use it in tandem with other aperture softbox lights or panel lights it really allows you to have full creativity and control over your lighting setup now, if you're looking to rent this light, which I would recommend as this video is sponsored by Canada Film Equipment, check out their website because I believe it's about roughly $280 a day for the light, as well as the weekend rate, somewhere around about $300. The light comes in a box. It's got a hard case shell. It's easily movable. It has wheels in the box. It's a, you know, a great package option to have on your set. And Mehran and Roham and Rose and the team there will definitely take care of you to make sure you have the correct setup for your light. So speaking of the incredible team at Canada Film, a huge shout out to Roham Abtahi. I'm gonna leave his uh, Instagram handle below. I believe it's Project Ro. Roham is a lighting wizard. He brought our set just to this level that we didn't think we could achieve. So if you're looking for a lighting tech, definitely check out Roham, give him a shout out on a DM on Instagram and connect with him possibly to light your project. You will be so grateful to have Roham on your team. You don't have anything to worry about when it comes to lighting. So I can tell my little uh, RGB lights are out of juice back there, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But I hope you found this review helpful on the Aperture P600C Nova panel. It is a light that elevated our filmmaking on Fool's Game. It brought this film essentially to life. And we're so grateful for Canada Film to give us these lights to really elevate our filmmaking game. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button below and drop me a comment if you use aperture lights in your filmmaking process. And if you do specifically, which ones? Because I'd like to know. And until next time, Take a look at Aperture Lights, get familiar with the Sidus Link app, and contact Canada Film Equipment if you're looking to light your next project. Peace.